That's my son. I mentioned my son, so I wanted to talk about it. Yeah, that's Garrett. He's, uh, he's a great kid. I, I, I've been very blessed. He, uh, uh, that's, that was him uh, uh, not too long after he was born. He was born, he was 10 pounds, 4 ounces, and 23 inches long. Yeah. He, uh, he cut the cord himself. He was a huge child. <laughs> but this is where I pay tribute to my wife, who uh, was two weeks late, which is why he was so large. And she, nothing was happening. So the doctor said, we have to give you a shot of Pitocin. And she said, what's that? And the doctor said, it induces labor. And, and my wife looks right at him and goes, uh, could you give my husband a shot? I'd like him to do some yard work. <laughs> it's great. She had a sense of humor even then. And I must say this, she then went into labor. She was in labor for 48 hours and then had a cesarean, which is pretty much like painting your house and then moving in next door. <laughs> Just did all that work. And I, and I must say this, as an engineer, there's two things that make no sense to me about infants. Uh, first of all, I know no creature on the earth that can eat four ounces and poop eight ounces. It's amazing. <laughs> My son is creating matter in his diaper. <laughs> the second thing I've noticed is talk about a bad design. My son is now about 27 pounds, 25 pounds of head now. And he's trying to walk. So wherever the head is going, that's where my son's going. It's just... It's a horrible, horrible design, engineering-wise. And I decided to do a little, and I looked at him one day, he was standing in the middle of the living room, and I realized the probability of him falling is equally distributed. He could go any direction at any time. It's equally distributed anywhere. That's for a standard room with a rounded, you introduce some kind of sharp edge table, and that immediately changes to 100% at the sharp item. It's just, punk. It's amazing. It's, a, it's, like a, it's like a sharp edge magnet, my son's head. This is interesting. I was trying to be kind of technically romantic with my wife. I wanted to show her that I think of her more than anything else during the day. So I made a pie chart of my daily thoughts. <laughs> Just like being technically romantic. So uh, right here you can see I think of her 28% of the time. More than work, more than my computer. And this is accurate, by the way. It truly is. And uh, she was totally unimpressed by this. In fact, she was mad. Because apparently she wanted to see uh, this kind of pie chart where I think of her 89% of the time and things I can do for her 4.6% of the time. Which I just think is asking a lot, frankly. But I said to her, I always, I always logically argue with her, I don't know why, but I do. I said, well, what, you, you don't think of me 80% of the time? She said, yes, I do. So I said, well, what's your pie chart? So she did hers, here's her pie chart. She thinks of me 80% of the time. She thinks of her mom 80% of the time. She thinks of food 80% of the time. And she thinks of shopping 80% of the time. Clearly she's using a math I don't begin to understand. And I realized not only does she use a math I don't even understand, she uses words that I think I know the meaning to but I really don't. So I came up with this idea called the Universal Gender Translator. And that's my, that's my lovely wife there, and that's me. And you, what you do is you put this in your ear, and it will do the translation for you. And, and by the way, it works in two modes, because both sexes do it. So we have a female to male, and a male to female converter. Uh, and I will do both. I'll start with the, uh, the uh, female to male converter. When you have this in, and my wife says something to me, like she says, nothing's wrong. I'm like, nothing's wrong. See, that doesn't really mean nothing is wrong. And I need to know what it really means. And what it really means is, uh, something's definitely wrong, but you've got to figure out what it is. <laughs> See, I need to know that. Otherwise, I think it, nothing's wrong. Okay, I'm going, or everything's fine. <laughs> this is a helpful device. If my wife says to me, is that what you're wearing? I'm like, well, it's on my body. <laughs> By definition, I would be wearing it. <laughs> but what that really means is you look like a clown. Now, if my wife says anything's fine, boy, does that not mean anything is fine. That really means anything I like and not something you like is fine. And by the way, this is a test. And then finally, if she says, do what you want, do not do what you want. It really means you'll pay for this later. No, go ahead, do what you want. Now let's flip it around the other day. If my wife has this in, she's got the earpiece in, and, and I say to her, uh, I want to have sex. Well, uh, frankly, uh, that's something uh, guys uh, infrequently lie about. We don't, if, you, if we say I want to have sex, it uh, pretty much means I want to have sex. 
So that one just goes right through. <laughs> However, ladies, if a guy says, do you want to go out to dinner? That really means uh, I want to have sex. <laughs> if he says, what time is it? It means I want to have sex. And if a guy says hi, it means I want to have sex. So it's a pretty simple device available now. Uh, 